Alice Escaped is a cute looking metroidvania game with some nice ideas here and there, like rewinding time to unlock multiple endings, but it also has a lot to improve on. The main reason why I bought this game is because I liked all the nods to Alice in Wonderland and its characters. A metroidvania with Wonderland as its setting sounded like a really fun time. I did have some technical issues with my controller input, so I had to play with a keyboard at the start. But after disabling my PlayStation controller configuration on Steam, it finally worked. The story is a bit simple and not really that important. For me it was more about the gameplay and the visuals. There are a few things I really liked about this game. The art style and the overall presentation is great. The same goes for the world building and the sound design. I also appreciate the fact that this game isn't as linear as you would expect. There are a lot of hidden items, side quests and more additional storylines to uncover. But I highly recommend to not explore too much when you play it for the first time. Because it could cause problems, like being unable to unlock specific endings. I also like the ability to switch between the two characters, but I mainly use the brawler instead of the gunner, because she just felt a bit more mobile and easier to use. Some of the boss fights were really fun to fight against, because their attacks were a nice nod to their Alice in Wonderland counterpart. To beat them, you have to deplete their shield bar first, and then they will be vulnerable for a short amount of time. The addition of this shield bar made sure you can't spam your attacks over and over again. It required a bit of strategy, and I really appreciated that. It was a bit annoying when regular enemies had this shield bar as well, because it's not fun when you have to deplete their shield when there are more enemies ganking up on you. I'm sad to say that this game has a metroidvania tag, just like Lost Runes, but there are barely any new abilities to unlock. Most of them you just unlock with your skill tree. Just like Lost Runes, you unlock keys again mostly, so you can open new doors spread throughout the world. I really would prefer getting new abilities, so you can reach areas you couldn't reach before. This key option is a really lazy design choice in my opinion. But there is a decent amount of backtracking. And there are a few moments you will get sort of new abilities, so I guess I will classify it as a metroidvania. But I'm a bit generous here. When you get into late game territory, the level design can become a bit tedious. Like deathmatch areas that reset in an instant, annoying enemies that do a lot of damage and have no visual cues when they attack, and just really unfair level design in some places. Like small or disappearing platforms to fight on, but instant death if you fall down. But I do appreciate all the additional content and the rewards for exploring. Rewinding time was a fun concept, and even though it can cause some problems if you unlock things in a different order, it was a fun and fitting design choice that made this game a bit more memorable to me. So in general, Alice Escape has a lot of fun ideas, like the possibility to rewind time, and the ability to switch between the two characters, for example. But the execution isn't flawless. I really enjoyed the overall presentation and the fun and cute characters, but the story and the overall gameplay wasn't something to rave about.
getting keys to unlock doors to get new items or to reach a new area isn't the most fun kind of level progression in my opinion. But luckily there are a few instances you need a specific ability or upgrade to reach new areas. The reason why I still would like to give this game some attention and also would like to recommend it is because it's more complex than it seems. Unlocking all 5 different endings took me a lot of time and a bit of frustration here and there, but I do not regret it. So be ready to uncover all the secrets in this game's version of Wonderland and save Alice with the help of your charming friends and your determination.